Pisces, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with a tarot card reading for you today. We're using the Hoodoo Tarot deck today to pull in some messages from the collective divine. See what the universe has to say, what the ancestors, spirit guides, what the spiritual teachers have to say, right? You know, we pay so much attention to our earthly teachers that we don't realize that we can look up to the stars and get inspiration from the stars as well. Those that came behind us. We are all stardust. We're all going to go back into being dirt or stardust at some point. Yes. We are looked at as stars. The earth is a star to another planetary system. Don't forget that. It's all about perspective. Hangman energy. Pisces. Dreams and visions. Getting a third person perspective or sacrifice. Let's get one more shuffle in before we channel the messages here for you today. What's surrounding you? What's coming towards you? What's the advice? What's the motivational chat here amongst the elders? Grounding you today, Pisces. We have, yeah, the seven of baskets, yeah. Great love, a lot of options, uh, smoke screens, illusions, that sort of thing. Is love an illusion? Are the options that are presented to us a form of uh, illusion? <laughs> it's almost like uh, waking up in the morning and trying to figure out what you want to wear for the day, right? What, um, what type of characteristics you want to display to the world? I'm getting what's in your heart versus uh, what you display to the world here. Daughter of Knives, yeah. A chip on your shoulder here. This is Knight of Swords. Could be dealing with a passionate speech, a passionate uh, poet. Could be dealing with um, some form of a mild teacher. Could be could be recording as well. Content creation is what I'm getting. Documenting your life journey. Hmm. Whoa, that's a very strong and powerful image here. People, they have certain opinions about you. We have 10 of coins, yeah. People have certain opinions about you. 10 of coins, which would be legacy. So one of my happy family cards, but this is abundance. Multiple sources of income at this time. Someone, yeah, you could be writing multiple books. Or this could be some type of a series. You're generating some type of a series or maybe you're an, epi an episodic uh, adventure of some sorts. Uh, uh, some sort of a subscription, subscription service. Could be uh, Patreon or something like that, PayPal. We have courting, the lover's card. Hmm, this is soulmate unity. A relationship coming towards you, yeah. Patreon, your soul tribe, those that uh, love you, want to communicate with you, uh, maybe equally yoked with you as well. Could even be a relationship coming towards you here. Someone could be afraid that you have multiple options as well. Not necessarily afraid, but they see you as very abundant. One thing to know about being a celebrity is that everyone loves you. So if someone is coming into union with you, they have to know that you are loved by everyone, not just them. That's the whole reason why they're attracted to you in the first place because they see you as very abundant and they see, okay, all these, that's what it is, all these hands clamoring for this individual. You could even be a teacher, some form of a celebrity. See what other messages we have for Pisces. Nine of sticks. <laughs> very guarded, very passionate though. A lot of sexual uh, energy coming towards you, known as F boy energy. Someone that comes in and out, or someone could be perceiving you in this way. Someone that has a lot of actions, and someone that takes it. Or someone that has a lot of options, and you're taking advantage of those options. Now, this could be in form of love, but it also could be in the form of business here with the ten of coins popping up. Someone could be obsessed with you, but at the same time, they know that you have a lot of business to attend to. So they're concerned with whether if you're going to have enough time to put to put, to put in a relationship. 
We have Father of Knives. This is King of Swords, Aquarius Energy. Someone trying to bend the rules here or someone coming in here with some type of motivational speech, taking notes here. We could be dealing with a thought provoker. Someone that's generating a, okay, a new culture, a new religion, a new wave of some sorts. Could even be, yeah, I trying to put out ideas. This could be some form of a director or a producer here. We have a Walt Disney-like character here. Yeah. We have six of baskets. Yeah, here we go. A spiritual flirtation. A lot of gifts coming towards you. A lot of attention coming towards you. A lot of uh, loving energy coming towards you. You could be some form of a male celebrity here. You could be the highlighted individual in your community. You could be some form of a VIP. But we do have love coming towards you here. Maybe a relationship. Yeah, definitely looked at as some form of a celebrity here. Two of baskets. Woo! -woo. Someone wants you. We not only have the ma the minor uh, arcana, two of cups, <laughs> but we have the major arcana, courting, lovers, soulmates. With the Ten of Coins, someone wants to develop a family with you here. Someone wants to develop legacy and lineage with you, here, with you here. Someone wants to develop multiple sources of income with you here. They see you as very abundant. This could even be business with family. Three of Baskets. Yeah, they're seeking out a celebration with you here. We have six of Baskets, two of Baskets, and three of Baskets. They want you. Or this could be many people on your line right now that wants you here. You could see a surplus or an influx of, of subscribers or attention coming towards you here. Um, now you could be starting some form of a new job, side hustle, small business, uh, and people are uh, intrigued with you. They're attracted to you. This could be new business associates, new co-workers. They're seeing you as uh, a leader in your own right here. Daughter of baskets, we have knight of cups, yeah. You're some sort of a muse here. You're some you're some form of emotional leader. You are looked at as someone that uh, has their heart space open. You could have emotional intelligence. They're looking at you as some type of poet, some some type of creative author as well. Could be some form of intuitive and or a psychic. But you're definitely looked at as either a muse or definitely romantically attractive. Yeah, a celebrity here. That's what it is. Wheel of Fortune, Aunt Caroline. Yeah. <laughs> Pisces, I mean, Jesus was a celebrity of his day, was he not? Yeah. So we have Aunt Caroline coming towards you. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is abundance. This is fortune smile. This is destiny and fate. This is um, some things you can control and some things you can't control. Um, now, there is a way to influence uh, the divine. There is a way to influence energies don't get it wrong our ancestors god and angels they look down on us and they take note of what we're doing not just people down here in the earth plane that uh love us but we also have when we die all the knowledge and all the love that we communicated uh or that we accumulated through our lifetime we take that back up to the experiential realm or the heavens and we share that with god so that they can manifest and generate new forms of possibilities for the ethers so that's what I have for you today, Pisces. Dreams, visions, uh, your goals are coming into fruition. We have people that love you, that want to uh, get into an entanglement with you and share upon your success. Um, they feel that love from you or attention from you is A1. So that's what I have for you today. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Peace.